Hello pretties, welcome to Biff's Drill. My name is Vivi and I'm really glad you're here because I'm about to tell you how terrible I did this one. <laughs> so this is a Panda Palette update which is a um, collab with the Fantastic Ladies that I'm really excited for because it was going to be able to give me a little more flexibility and I really wanted to work through my Super Shock Shadows this year just because they are a cream product and I know they go bad a lot quicker than others. So <clears throat> that's what I'm working on. Also, my throat's going to itch a little bit so... I don't know if you can hear that or not. I can hear it, but who knows? Just putting that out there. Um, and the reason why I am really disappointed is because I didn't hit any of my goals. I did not hit pan on catnap, which is my single. I'm really close. You can definitely see that nipple, and I could definitely like push around the product to make it happen, but I don't want to cheat. I want to actually hit pan on it. And because this is kind of putty uh, texture, it's really easy to just like move the product around. But I don't want to do that. I want to actually hit pan on it. I also want to say that something I've noticed, and I don't know why, like a dummy, didn't think of this when I first started this. Um, but one, these are pretty big eyeshadows. This is 0 0.07 ounce of product. And in contrast to like most eyeshadows should be about 0 0.05 and most like palettes have it like 0 0.03 actually they give you a little bit less product but most shadows should be 0 0.05 and this in my opinion that's like the standard that's what they should give you so this is definitely above that two because they're cream products there's no kickback so you know when you you know when you you know uh, swirl you my god words <laughs> i'm always struggling with words when you swirl your brush in your eyeshadow palette usually there's a little like powder that kicks up there's none of that with this cream products like you can do all that you want but nothing's gonna come out because it's all cream products so there's not much of that so I just realized this is probably gonna be a little harder than I thought so I'm gonna have to restructure this and my problem is my pie project pan so in my pie project pan I am essentially using I'm just trying to hit pan on all my eyeshadow palettes and I am trying to use those essentially on my crease for the most part and then on the days that I don't do that because sometimes when I have to go be at work really early in the morning at 6 30 a.m. so I only have time to like put one of these like matte shadows and just kind of put it all over my lid blend it out a little bit and then maybe I'll top it off a little bit with a shimmery one and that's it <clears throat> but when I have my time I usually try to use my pan uh, you know my pie project pan palette and I feel like I'm, I'm that time those couple of times that's three or four times so I want to say like three times a week that's about three times a week that I could be using one of this shad like matte shadows to um really hit the crease that I'm not doing that I also so I'm gonna try to limit my pie uh, pan palette to once or twice a week instead of doing it like every time I don't have like I have time to do things because that can be a lot of times <laughs> so I do want to limit that so that I can give this matte shadows a little more time and I want to say that I, I used I did use this one twice this week like this month like I said I was the paradox which is that cranberry shade and I actually really liked it it worked out really well for me but if I don't use it more it's not gonna happen I'm not gonna hit my goal so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to limit my use on that pie eyeshadow palette in order to make this happen, which sucks because uh, if you're keeping up with that project, I am putting a lot. It, it's one of my biggest palettes. It's a 24G from Morphe, which has like the like 2.5 grams. Is it's just those giant pans, so it's gonna slow down that product, but. That to me is not my main focus this year. My main focus is these Super Shock Shadows. These Super Shock Shadows have to go. I cannot have them here at the end of this year. So I'm gonna have to do that. Also something that I've noticed is that I usually just use one of these all over my, my lid and that's it. So I need to start layering these. Um, and some of them are, are similar. If I look at Heine, Set to Stun, and Catnap, and I'll show you what I mean. I mean they're similar. So this is Catnap which is my single. It's just it's a little more glittery but it's, it's like a pinky purple shimmery. So that's that. Then you have Heine which is part of my duo 
use a different finger I was I to use the same one this one's definitely more pigmented it's a different folding formula this is metallic versus the other one's glittery but they're very similar it's still like a pinky one more cranberry instead of purple shade okay and then you have set to sun set to stun which is more purpley and again it's a different formula this one's metallic as well but this one's just a little bit more vibrant so I just need to start layering these because otherwise there's no way I'm gonna get through all these shimmers it's a lot of shimmer like a lot of shimmer <laughs> So I'm to start layering, maybe have um, set to stun all over the lid and then top it off with, oh gosh, with catnap because it is a little more glittery so I feel like it might give it a little more dimension. But you see what I mean? Like they're, they're relatively similar. They're obviously not the same shade but they're still relatively similar. So I could open up every single shadow and like show you all my progress which I did do a good job of using at least all of them once, except for the um, Cheap Date. I did not use Cheap Date once, but everything else got used at least once, most of them two or three times, if not way more than that. So at least there is that I did want to use them more often, and I did do that. Um, but there's no new pans, like I was hoping for, and I'm not really finished any. The only one that I think, think I'm, I'm probably gonna get really close to finishing, not that one. <laughs> That's not it. It's gonna be this one, which is uh, fade in, which is the one I hit pan on last last week. It's just it's really shallow all around. So that being said, I need to make this a priority because this is my priority. Pi project pan is not a priority because I feel like that one is an open ended project. I have plenty of time to hit pan on, and if I need to like switch out that big palette for something smaller that no be easier to hit pan on, then I can do that. Um, so there's that that's my update i hope to have a much more interesting update for next time and is anybody else struggling at i like i am because i'm struggling over here guys so please cheer me on see you next time bye